Hello guys and welcome. It's Engineering Rebel and in this video I'm going to show you guys on how to make an LED flip-flop circuit just like this one. So please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Patreon so you can help support my channel and stay up to date on the latest news regarding my channel. So let's begin. In order to do this project you will need a breadboard, two 10k resistors, four to 20 ohm resistors, two BC547 transistors, two 100 microfarad capacitors, two LEDs of any color, and some jumper cables, some long and some short. Also to power the circuit, you will need a nine volt battery, preferably with little alligator clips to make the connections much more successful and easier. So first we're gonna put in our BC547 transistors. So I'm gonna put one here. And the flat side should be facing towards you. And another one over here on the same row, just like so. So next we're going to put in our 10K resistors. So I have to make sure that one of the strands on the resistor matches up with the middle strand of the transistor just like this. And that applies for transistor number one and transistor number two. So you could see that this strand would be on the same row as the middle strand of this transistor. And there you are. Next, we're gonna attach our two resistors together. So we're gonna take one of our jumper cables, preferably the shorter one, and we're going to attach this resistor along with this other one. And it has to be on the same row as this strand that is pointing outwards on both sides. Next, we're going to put in our two 100 microfarad capacitors. So we're gonna put it in as the same row as again, the middle strand of the transistors. So this would be here and that would be there. And we have to make sure that the negative terminal is facing this side. And the same would apply for this capacitor as well. just like this. Next, we're going to put in our two little LEDs. So preferably I'm gonna put the red one here in the same row as the jumper wire and the end prong of the resistor. So it would go right here. And also make sure that the positive part of the LED is facing towards the resistor and the jumper cable. So this would go here. And the same would also apply for the blue LED. So the positive side will be facing the jumper cable. And this would go here. Next, we're going to put in our four to 20 ohm resistors. So we're going to need to put it in the same row as the resistor and the LED. So this prong would be in the same row as the resistor and this prong would be in the same row as the LED. So it would look something like this. Now we're also going to put another 220 ohm resistor right next to that one to double the resistance from 220 to 440. So just like this. Now the same also applies towards the other side with the red LED. It needs to go into the same row as the LED and the 100 microfarad capacitor. and this one as well. Now we're finished putting in all the components. Now the next thing to do is to attach all the jumper wires. So we're gonna put one jumper wire, again, a short one, from this end, and it's going to be in the same row as the last resistor here to the last prong on the transistor. So it would be, look just like that. And you could see that this is the last prong and it's in the same row as this jumper wire. The next jumper wire will connect the end prong on this part of the transistor. So we're gonna need to put one here. Just like that and then the other one here. Mm -hmm. 
then this longer jumper wire will go from this end of the resistor. So it would look like this. And then this wire would go right here in this empty row right next to the transistor. So we have three places filled up there and three places filled up there. Then in order to power our circuit, we're going to need to put a long jumper cable right in front of the strand of the LED. So it'll be in the same row, just like that. So it'll look like this. So you have the little prong of the LED and then the jumper cable. And then we will put another jumper cable right under this yellow one. So it'll go right there. Just like this. Now the moment of truth. So let's connect the white wire with the positive and the blue wire with the negative. Wow, success. That looks pretty good. You could see how that when one LED turns on, the other one would turn off and this loop would continue. So far, it's been running for a couple of minutes and I'm not noticing any overheating or any unusual things. So I would definitely call this a success. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's definitely a lot of fun making these videos. More awesome videos are to come. So please hit that subscribe button. And also I will have more videos in regards to electronics. I will see you guys in the next one.